As the world races to find a coronavirus vaccine, researchers are trying to tool themselves with treatments. Once patients are in intensive care, we know that they do have uh, a very high mortality. So we, we hope that this, uh, th that this drug will uh, reduce the risk of, of patients dying. Brisbane scientists are trialling an anti-inflammatory drug, tocolizumab, normally used to treat arthritis. The drug blocks inflammation molecules in the immune system. It's hoped it'll prevent severe respiratory failure in patients during their second week suffering coronavirus. Predominantly the factor that, that takes their life is the uh, respiratory distress that they suffer, where the lungs fill with inflammatory fluids generated uh, by the cytokine storm that arises from this virus. The QIMR Berghofer team is awaiting a green light to commence trials on ventilated patients in intensive care. But with only three coronavirus patients left in Queensland's ICUs, researchers may struggle to find participants. It's a welcome obstacle. One of the challenges though is because we have so few cases, uh, we, don't, uh, we don't have many patients to put into these trial programs and so that's a challenge for our researchers but one we're pleased to have. Queenslander Judith is heartened by the trial, having just spent 30 anxious days at home while her husband was in intensive care with COVID-19. I would have put my hand up straight away because he would have had a quicker stay, hopefully a shorter stay in ICU. Tocolizumab has already been studied in Italy, where researchers have reported favourable outcomes in patients with COVID-19. As restrictions ease here in Queensland, Associate Professor Barbara and her team are hoping the drug will be available in time for a possible second wave of infections. Jessica Rendell, ABC News, Brisbane.